Hi, my name is Clark. I'm an instructor trainer with scuba.com and today we're going to talk about the differences between the spear guns, pneumatic and banded guns. The banded spear gun. In an elastic powered spear gun, the spear is placed on a track and pulled back against rubber bands, stretching them and locking them into place. Pulling the trigger releases the powerful rubber bands and fires the spear. There are a number of different lengths to choose from, but these banded guns are designed as high powered, compact spear guns which have repeatedly proven itself in reliability and performance from the weekend sport hunter to the commercial fisherman to world title competition championships. Gun length. The shorter the overall length of the gun, the more maneuverable it will be in tight spaces. Now these are excellent for working around rocky reefs and kelp forests. These environments have restricted mobility and a quick reaction time in aiming and firing is critical for successful shoots. Longer guns are usually associated with open water where there is more space to move in. Let's talk about bands. The more bands a gun has, the more variance in power it has. If a multi-banded gun is loaded with only one or two bands, it has less power, range, and striking power, but will have an effective hitting power when it hits a close-up target. For more range and hitting power, more bands are used. This means that the shaft has a good speed, range, and stopping power, Shorter guns that have multiple bands are good for a variety of conditions. Now let's talk about pneumatic spear guns. The pneumatic spear gun has been around since the late 1950s, but its function still continues to be misunderstood by many today. It consists of an airtight chamber which houses a barrel, a piston, a trigger mechanism, and a shock absorbing device. A small quantity of oil is present to lubricate all internal components. Some models feature a high-low pressure selection switch for fast and low shaft discharge speeds. Factory recommended operating pressure is usually at 325 psi. Pressure is fully adjustable by the user to adapt a gun to any style of spear fishing or conditions. The function of the pneumatic spear gun is to propel a steel shaft through the water quickly, accurately, and quietly with the use of compressed air. Because it is a sealed system and no air escapes, the spear gun has unlimited use as long as the gun is pressurized. This is accomplished by the use of an O-ring sealed piston which travels the length of the barrel. Air is pressurized in the reservoir through the filler valve by means of a hand pump. The number of pumps required to bring the gun up to pressure depends on the size of the gun. Now be careful not to get the pump or filling port wet when pressurizing as water will enter the gun and begin corrosion. Remember, loading the gun should be done only under water. You want to start by inserting the butt end of the shaft into the muzzle of the gun. Then holding the spear tip with a loading device while holding the gun by the muzzle begin to insert or cock the shaft into the barrel. Rotate the loading hand, calling the shaft to rotate 180 degrees in a corkscrew fashion as it is inserted into the barrel. This minimizes the possibility of bending the shaft. Continue loading until the shaft clicks into the loaded position, then place the safety switch on safe to prevent a misfire. If you have any questions about pneumatic or banded spear guns, or would like to purchase one, please call one of our certified dive instructors at 1-800-34-SCUBA. And remember, we're here for you.